So it says content and, and post, it, post it, add an about page, yeah. contact page, uh -huh. etc. So he's done. Add links eat. naturally. Okay. Yeah. And then there's 28 subdomains that uh -huh. he's created, I assume, using this kind of behavior. He right? sends those to the, to the main them. domain, the money and site. And then he's linked them to the domain that he's, tr or to the, the main site that he's trying to rank. Um, he said he got pretty good results but he thinks he overcooked his anchor text keyword density. Um, he was ranking for page one for medium competition. Oh, he's creating a bot to do this kind of value. thing. So essentially he's created a bunch of hub pages in the form of subdomains that link back to his main asset. The and they're actually homepage. WordPress subdomains, and, unlike a, yeah. uh, a web 2.0 subdomain, which is kind of cool. Right, so it's interesting. Um, now he's saying, do you think this would work in the scenario of like doing it in mass? That's what I'm guessing he means by, you know, this type of bot. Uh, it's I, wonder, gonna I wonder if the subdomains are on different domains or if all the subdomains are on like a single domain. Oh, good question. I, I automatically assumed they were the same, the same URL and subdomains of that URL. But yeah, they could be subdomains of a different uh, Soul Blade. Shit, for all we know, we, they, they could be Web 2.0s then if, if you're Well, no, he said because it's on a, that. He said it's um, a WordPress subdomain, so it's on WordPress. Okay. So I'm assuming it's on like an actual website subdomains. Uh, Soul Blades, if you're like still here and you're listening to us PBM. being confused about your question, let us know. Let us know if they're actually on like you know, WordPress, WordPress, like an actual website and not Web 2.0s. And let us know if they're on different domains and not the same, the same on different root domains. Um, yeah. Without us, us even, know. without even needing that information, though, it ties into the last question. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty Essentially, much a PB, it's kind of like a PBN. It's a PBN. Yeah. yeah right. Because the subdomain is treated as a different URL. And so... Yeah, what you're doing is you're creating a PBN um, and then linking back. So whether it's the same URL or a different URL, I mean, like they're probably going to react a bit differently. But um, is it a viable option to exclusively do that? I, I'm going to go ahead and say no. Same answer as the last question. Um, you're going to want to diversify what you're doing. Um, I will say it's creative. It is creative. I, I haven't. I, haven't yeah. I don't think I've ever seen someone doing this. Um. But but yeah, like yeah, no. It, especially if they're all coming from the same domain, like if all these subdomains are on one domain, like the, it's like basically you've created a PBN with like the biggest footprint you could possibly ever have. Well, if it's on the same domain, at least then it makes sense for it to be going back to the. Um, main URL, right? Like, because, like, if we well, think about, he, he might even be setting up to like a different website. So, for example, yeah, it, you have like you have domain A, and domain A has like fifty subdomains on it. So, basically, mm -hmm. has these fifty small sites on it. Uh, then he's linking yeah. out to like another site. So it's basically like you're basically showing Google this is my network of sites, and yeah, now we're linking. If, if you're doing that, and you think you're hidden, then that is definitely not. Uh... Yeah, so it's, it's basically like a PBN with like the biggest foot, footprint you could possibly have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm being real secretive because they're all on different subdomains, but I'm linking to the same assets off every single one of them. No, you'll you'll get popped for that for sure. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to recommend that uh, this is a good idea or that you could do this. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, COVID guys. Um, he did say he's had some good results in it. And like we were saying in the last question, someone was asking if they build only PBN links, what, is it going to work? And our answer is it, it, it's possible that you're going to get some pretty good results in the short term. But in the long term, I would expect this kind of thing to, to crash and burn. The question is how yeah. long is it going to be? Um, so yeah, I just don't know. I don't think there's going to be much of a market for it. Um, I just, I feel like it's, you know, it's a lot of work. Um, and what you're doing is you're essentially just creating a PBN, right? You're creating a, you're creating a PBN, but the subdomains don't really have, um, I mean, you're, you're like building links to them instead of just buying the links at discount from just like buying like PBN sites. Um, to, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't really, to just kind of 
blanket it and or maybe i just don't get it maybe i maybe we're like simps and we just yeah, don't we understand might be, we might be off too um, um but i don't i don't think so i think it sounds like it, in today's day and age if you think you found a gimmick of a solution for backlinking just imagine that yeah. everything has been conceptualized yeah everything has been tested everything has been tried for the most part um I actually you know, have a post going out. Uh, small wiggle rooms. I have a post going out but on the, Thursday uh, on the exact thing you just said. It's like if you're newer to really? SEO and you thought of a, a hack that you want to implement, it's probably not going to work. There's like a million yeah. very smart people who have come before you. Yeah. So have tried don't it. try it. Just stick to the basics for now. But, but you the, know, someone trying to do this, I'm not saying you're new to SEO, maybe you've been around for a while because he's like trying to make a bot and trying to actually sell something. Um, probably not the newest guy in SEO. I just, but at the same time, I, I see this as a, like you said, it's kind of like this gimmick type thing. And um, especially with backlinks, think, like you were saying, like Google's gotten pretty good at like identifying like what's natural and what's not. Um, so as far as backlinks go moving forward, it's, you know, you're, you're shooting for quality, you're shooting for real sites, and you can mix a little bit of the trash in from here, uh, here and there, but overall you, you want to, I wouldn't mess with doing too much unnatural stuff with backlinks. I mean, ultimately the biggest hack that I ever came to a realization with, um, when it came to backlinking and trust me, like, especially when we got started, like, I think both of us probably went down the rabbit hole of looking for these types of hacks that were one off and, uh, you know, you could really rely on them to make you a lot of money. The biggest hack is looking at what diversification can do for you, how it insulates you from a backlinking standpoint and using that to your advantage. Yeah. Um, if you are diversifying your backlink profile, uh, or even your content profile, which is a new concept that I'm working on, like messing with AI, but it, it, backlinking especially, if you're diversifying consistently, it is the hardest thing for an individual to emulate, right? Um, so, you know, where the links come from, what anchor text are you using? What kind of links are you using? If you're diversifying that, I also got more that info is the from biggest them. hack that you can use. Got more info from him. So it says, so my bot goes out and auto builds these web 2.0s for you. It builds about, about pages, contact pages, privacy policy, and uses AI generate content. Yeah, man. So you're basically just talking about uh, automated kind of like link farm, link spam type thing. Um, yeah. it, it's just not something I'd, I would mess with. Um, there I mean, you know, there like might, there might be a market it, for you. I'm not, I'm not saying there wouldn't be a market. Um, you know, I just, I don't know what exactly the market is. You know, there's there's plenty of Web 2.0 spam services already out there. Um, so I'm not really sure what, what yours would do that's different. But I also just couldn't recommend that anyone would ever, ever do this kind of thing. You know, we, we see sites, uh, you know, we, we one of our services, services is the Managed Link Building Program. This is a done for you link building services. And we get applications for, and we basically analyze their backlink profile, their off-page SEO before we start working on their site to kind of develop a plan and he says it's uh, oh sorry i'm just saying and, and web 2. Point, these web 2.0 spam is uh something we see very 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 often um basically you know they go out and they they buy it um, because it, it's cheap it's lots of links and they don't really know what they're doing and it ends up just they create this huge mess for themselves and we we it's our job then to help dig them out of it right um it says, I have lots of other links. These are a small portion of my link profile. Yeah, if it's a small portion of your link profile, um, you know, it could be fine. I'd, I'd prefer if you did web 2.0s and not the spammy way. But if it's a small portion of your link profile, it's hard to say that they're going to really create pr problems for you, right? Um, but if you try to use this thing as like the backbone, then yeah, big problems. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, I'd be lying if I said, you know, this making up a small portion of your backlink profile is going to, is going to, it's going to really hurt you. Uh, you know, at, what you'd probably be looking at is they'd probably just kind of be ignored. Or if you did it like really well, which would entail some things not being super automated, um, then, you know, it could be kind of, kind of negligible. Cause I mean, they're still web 2.0s. They're, they're still just not ever going to be like great links. Right. Um, 
But uh, it is kind of cool. You know, I like the idea of the privacy policy and the contact pages and all that stuff. Um, it sounds like, you know, maybe it could be a little bit of a, a higher quality Web 2.0 spam type thing. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at on it. What do you think, Nick? What are you about to say? Well, yeah, I think um, I think you do have an edge in, in consideration to building out about pages, contact pages, and privacy policies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you're on the cutting edge of doing stuff like that, and you're using AI content, then you're probably advanced in comparison to a lot of your fiber competitors. Advanced um, compared to other Web 2.0 that... spam, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, well, yeah, competition within like a place like Fiverr or Legit or something mm. like that um, in the Web 2.0 realm. Um, you could probably make a decent amount of money having a higher quality um, bit of spam. Like, I, I I would use Web 2.0 spam. I talk about it in my case study, um, you know, to diversify mainly what I would consider foundational links or like pillow linking. Um, if I saw this option versus the option that I'm used to, um, then I think that um, the option that you're offering actually goes a decent amount further. Um by creating, you know, the element of basically eat for a web 2.0. So, you know, uh, it could actually be something that you could uh, market and, um, you know, get some traction with it. If that's kind of like why you're asking the question, then yeah, sure. it's a higher, like Chris said, it's a higher quality web 2.0 spam. So what I would do if I were you is I would go spend the few dollars on some similar services on Fiverr or whatever, see what they're delivering yeah. and just see how much, how much yours is better. Price yourself accordingly and, and you know, hop in. Maybe you can make some sales. Yeah. Yeah, um, it could be good. And people do buy this stuff, like Nick was saying. Um, yeah, it just depends, like, how much you set, you set yourself apart, how much better it actually is, and, um, you know, the, the price difference. Because at the end of the day, we're, we are still talking about, you know, automated Web 2.0 kind of spam stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So it just depends how much are people really willing to pay for this extra uh, little bit of an edge on them. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. That was kind of a, that was a, one of the most interesting questions we've had in a while. That was a good question. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.